This is the Future Force Warrior. It's actually the program being funded by the Army to field that next generation soldier in 2010. Um, we affectionately call it an F-16 on legs. It's a redesign and rebuild, really focusing on a couple of things. One is lighter weight, greater capability. So starting with the helmet, for example, it's been redesigned. Four-point suspension harness makes it more comfortable to wear. We have what's called an I-squared device on the helmet. Night vision and thermal. These two sensors will take those two pictures and lay them over one another. That image goes to what's known as the HMD, the helmet mounted display. That's also connected to my onboard computer. So this is my output device. My soldier looks into that and sees roughly 17 inch color monitor hanging out in space or the input from the optics. Next generation body armor load carriage system, which is also on the floor. The entire piece of body armor, or excuse me, the entire piece of load carriage is like hybrid of Kevlar and what's known as a ballistic ceramic. 12% larger area of coverage in the plate. The plate has the ability to stop multiple machine gun rounds. Soft armor is rated for 9 mil, or excuse me, handgun and fragmentation. Next generation under shirt wears up against the body, allows the ability to pull moisture and vapor off the body much faster. In conjunction with the body armor allows me to passively cool the shoulder, keep the shoulder cool. What's on the chest is what's known as a WPSM, Warrior Physiological Status Monitoring System. Sensors that allow me to monitor respiration, heart rate, whether or not the shoulder is standing up and lying or lying down, whether or not the shoulder's been shot. Personal information carrier, which is essentially a digital dog tag, allows me to have smart media type device. It has the soldier's entire medical history on them all the time. The ballistic detection that's in the heart in the chest harness is what's known as bone conduction. It's actually a very sensitive microphone speaker system. That's what's in the helmet. You'll notice no speakers, no microphones. Bone conduction actually registers the cranial cavity vibration of you talking. Doesn't matter whether you're whispering or whether you're yelling, your skull's always vibrating. If someone talks to you on the radio, those sensors actually vibrate and stimulate your inner ear, so you literally hear sound inside your head. No more sound bleed off for speakers or microphones. 2010. This is actually a current Army program. We're in test and evaluation now. We field to the Army in 2010.